and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kaylee and today's class is a fun and funky creative vinyasa flow. There will be lots of unique and creative transitions and we'll flow through a lot of different poses. It's kind of a little bit of everything flow with standing balances, twists, heart openers, hip openers, and eventually we'll get upside down as well. This class is one long flow. I've been loving that format of classes and so have you. So we'll just do one long flow of a bunch of different poses and then switch to the second side and then we will be done. So no ladder flow for those of you who don't like to repeat the flow over and over again. This class is more on the challenging side, intermediate advanced because of the poses, the transitions and the pace. So plan accordingly and we will flow from the front to the back of the mat. So make sure you can see me from wherever you are. There's also a Spotify playlist in the description if you like music while we flow and let's jump in. No equipment needed unless you like a block or a strap. We are starting in a tabletop today. Meeting me, hands and knees, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, spread the fingers wide. On your inhale, start to drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze, cow pose. Exhale to tuck round, push into the hands, draw the chin towards the chest, rounding through the back body. Again, inhale, opening. And exhale, curling in. A couple more like that. Moving on your own. Can you use this time to link your breath to your movement? Full inhalation, finding your cow, and full exhalation, moving through cats. Let's take one more round. Making your way back to center, finding a neutral table, ground through the right hand and the left knee, and then inhale, right leg, left arm, reach long. Point through the right toes, extend the left fingers, gaze at one point just in front of the mat. Take a big breath in. Breath out, crunch elbow to knee underneath you. Can you get them to tap? Inhale, extend, arm and leg long. Exhale, curl in, tap. One more inhale to extend, and exhale to curl. Inhale to extend, and then exhale to bend the right knee. Reach the left hand back to the inside of the foot. Kick foot into hand, tiger pose. Gaze at one point to balance. Hips are square, shoulders are square. Press into the right hand and lift the crown of the head to the sky. Breathing in. On the breath out, gently release. Extend the right leg long, plant the left hand, and then step your right foot outside of the right hand for lizard. Turn the right toes out. You can slide the left knee back as needed and then walk down onto your forearms as long as that feels okay in the hip. Know that this is the beginning of class, so maybe hands is a better place to stay. Breathing into the right hip, inner thigh, finding a rock in this way, side to side, starting to open up through the right hip. option to stay down in the forearms or come back up to the hand start to bend into the left knee and then twist over to reach the right hand back to meet it curl the heel in towards the glute roll the right shoulder in towards the midline spin the chest to the sky take a deep breath in breath out can you draw the left heel closer towards the glutes maybe gaze up to the sky breathing in and breathing out. Release. Left leg back long, right hand plants, and then left hand plants. Start to push the hips back wide, half split. So the right toes stay out past the shoulder. Hands are on the inside of the right foot. Flex the right toes as you send the heel away and the crown of the head forward. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. 
Breathing in and breathing out. On your next inhale, start to shift back forward to your tabletop as you swing the right leg back long and then cross right knee behind left Gomu Childs. Press the hips back, flex the toes as you send the hips towards the back of the mat. Breathing in and breathing out. And then as you're ready, shift back forward to your tabletop and we'll do that all on the second side. Extend right arm, left leg long, big breath in, breath out, crunch elbow to knee underneath you. Can you get them to touch? Inhale to extend arm and leg, exhale, pull in, use your core. One more time, inhale, extend, exhale, curl in, tap. Inhale to extend, exhale to bend, the left knee reach the right hand back to meet it. Kick foot into hand, hand into foot once you arrive. Lift the crown of the head to the sky, finding a back bend. And then gently release, right hand plants, left leg extends long, and then step left foot outside of left hand for lizard. Maybe sliding the back knee long, and then come on down to the forearms. Again, rock it side to side. Working into the left hip now. And knowing that this side might not feel the same as the other, and that is okay. Focusing less on what the physical shape looks like and more on what it feels like. Then option to stay down on the forearms or come back up onto the hands. Start to bend into the right knee. Open the heart to the sky as you reach the left hand towards the right foot. Curling the heel in towards the glute and again spiral the chest to the sky. Make this a twist. Breathing in and breathing out. Gently release, plant the left hand, plant the right hand, and then push the hips back, wide half splits. Flex the toes, reach the crown of the head forward. Right knee is supporting you in line with the right hip. Take a deep breath in to lengthen through the spine. Breath out, can you fold even deeper over the left leg? And then on your next inhale, start to shift forward onto the hand. Swing your left leg back long. Exhale, Gomu Childs. Cross the left knee behind the right and start to walk the hands back to a child's pose shape. Flex the toes as you drop the hips back. On your next inhale, shift back forward, tabletop, uncross the legs. Tuck the toes under, exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. You can pedal it out right and left. Shake the head yes and no. Starting to open through the back side of the body. And then coming back through stillness on your inhale, lift both heels off of the mat. On the exhale, drop them over to the left, stretching through the right side body. Inhale to move through center, exhale, heels to the right. Inhale, moving through center. On your exhale, walk to the top of the mat. Feet land about hips width, take a bend into the knees. Let's find a twist right away today. Left hand down on your inhale, straighten through the right leg, open the right arm. And exhale to release. Switching sides, straighten through the left leg, open with the left arm. And release. 
Couple more times side to side, starting to open up through the chest, the thoracic spine. Last time each side, moving with your own breath. And then release left hand, heel toe the feet together until the big toes touch. Next inhale, roll all the way up to stand, super slow, one vertebra at a time. Head, neck, last thing to arrive at the top. Sweep the fingers up once you arrive. Gaze follows the fingertips. And then on your exhale, start to bend into the elbows. Hands come behind the back of the head. Press the head into the elbows, reaching the crown of the head to the sky. And then exhale, lean back, find a little back bend. Squeezing shoulder blades together, making a shelf for the heart to lean back on. And then on an in-breath, lift the arms back up to the sky. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Forward fold, hands pass through the heart center. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to your high plank. Press into the hands, engage through the core, pull the belly button up and in. Protract through the shoulders, gaze slightly forward so that the neck is nice and long. Take a deep breath in. Stay for the breath out. Next, inhale, shift forward onto the toes. Exhale, lower halfway down at Chaturanga. Inhale, pull the heart through, upward facing. Exhale, press the hips back, downward facing. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Two more breaths here before we take our Sun A breath to movement. Using this time to pause. To let go of any resistance, anything that is coming up that's taking you out of this moment in time. Let's take a deep breath in. Clear it out. Exhale. Inhale. Lift the heels. Gaze forward. Exhale. Step or float to the top. Halfway. Forward fold. Inhale to rise. Ground into the feet. Sweep the fingers to the sky. Exhale. Bend the elbows. Lean back. Open the chest. Inhale, reach the fingers up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. One more sun A. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, step or float. Halfway, forward fold, inhale to rise, reach up, exhale, bend the elbows, lean the heart back, inhale, arms lift, exhale, fold over the legs, halfway, breathe in, lengthen the spine, step or float, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Inhale, float your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, curl, knee to nose. Can you get it to touch? Inhale, lift high, three-legged. Exhale, step the right foot forward in between the hands, low lunge. Left knee lands, untuck the toes. Inhale, reach the fingers to the sky. Exhale, can you sink the hips low? Spread the toes wide and isometrically draw your right heel towards your left knee. Feel that light up the inner thighs and help to find balance in this shape. Take a big breath in. On the breath out, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then drop the hands behind you, find an inner lace. Option for a strap here, inhale, puff the heart forward. Can you get the heels of the hands to touch? On your exhale, lean back, reaching the fingers towards the left calf. Breathing in. On your breath out, tuck the left toes under and shift humble crescent straighten through the left leg as you drop the right shoulder to the right thigh. Gaze slightly forward, take a big breath in. Breath out, can you reach the fingers even farther forward? One more inhale and exhale. Next inhale, find a halfway lift, reach the fingers back behind you, take the torso off of the right thigh and then start to lift Press into the right foot, warrior three, keeping the bind. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Can you lift the heart? 
even more here. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Next, inhale, one-legged tadasana. Pull the left knee into the chest first. Flex the toes and then reach the fingers up to the sky once you arrive. Take a big breath in. On the breath out, figure four. Cross left leg over right. Hands travel to the heart center. Sit low, flex the left toes. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Can you sit a little bit lower? One more inhale. And exhale. Dancing Shiva from here. So take the right hand down to the outside of the left foot. Option to grab the knee instead on your inhale. Kick the left foot forward as you rotate over and gaze towards the back of the mat, towards the left fingertips. Stand up really tall, ground through the right foot. Breathing in, breathing out. One more inhale. On the exhale, slow and controlled, twisted half moon. Rotate the chest over to the right as you send the left leg back and drop those fingers to the mat. Right arm is lifting to the sky. Can you spin the chest open? Beautiful, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out, twist. One more inhale, lengthen. Exhale, we're gonna step to a side plank. So ground through the left hand to start. You can bend into the knee if needed. Then start to lower left toes to the mat. Roll into the edge of the foot and then lift the right leg. It can come up towards the chest. You can step to a regular side plank, whatever feels best in your body in this moment. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more inhale, float the right leg if it isn't already. On your exhale, slow and controlled wild thing, right toes land and open the chest to the sky. Reach right fingers to the top. Breathing in and breathing out. Next, inhale, start to transition back through your side plank. Pull the right knee in. On your exhale, skandasana, right knee bends. Toes turn to the top left corner of the mat. Hands travel to the heart. Left leg is long. Flex through the left toes. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, skandasana to the back of the mat. Bend into the left knee. Skandasana back to the front. Last time to the back. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, start to land the right hand. We're coming all the way around to horizons lunge. So left toes point to the back, left arm lifts up, and then towards the top of the mat, drop the hips. Flexing through the right toes, letting the left toes turn out. Feel the stretch in the right side body. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. One more inhale. On the exhale, start to bend into the bottom knee. Come into a Gomukhasana in the center of the mat. Flex the toes, left knee on top of right. Reach the fingers up to the sky. And then exhale, find a side bend over towards the right. Left arm by the ear. Maybe you drop all the way to the right elbow. But if it takes the left hip up, just straighten through the arm and use that as a way to draw the left hip down. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna continue to turn towards the right and step to a wide-legged forward fold. So it's a little bit funky. Left hand will land next to right and then start to straighten through the legs, parallel the feet. Breathing in, halfway lift. And breath out to fold, prasarita. Drop the head. Lift the tailbone to the sky, breathe in, and breathe out. Option to stay right here if you would like a headstand. We'll, take, we'll have two chances for a headstand, so you could stay and hang in your prasarita. Elbows bend if you're going for the tripod, drop the head, and then on an in-breath, start to lift the legs, pressing into the hands. Maybe legs flow all the way to center. Gazing at one point, and then eventually lowering back through your straddle and releasing the feet to the mat. Let's all find a halfway lift in our prasarita shape, and then exhale, left hand to the outside of the right ankle. Inhale, right arm to the sky, find a twist. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Can you roll the right shoulder back, opening?
Next inhale, we're coming all the way through a twisted reverse. So let go of the left hand and then inhale, straighten, right toes to the front, right hand reaches towards the left leg, left arm by the ear. Breathing in and breathing out. One more inhale. On your exhale, open out warrior two. Roll the back heel down, deep bend in the right knee. Spread the toes wide, reach the fingers long. Take a deep breath in. Stay for their breath out. Next, inhale, reverse. Reach the right arm back. Feel that side body stretch. Exhale, side angle, right forearm to the thigh, left arm sweeps by the ear. Option to stay right here or find the half bind. Maybe a full bind, opening the chest. You can stay right here or find your bound half moon. So gaze to the right foot, hop the left foot in, coming onto the left toes, keeping the bind, transfer the weight into your right foot and lift the left leg. Breathing in and breathing out. We're all gonna step to a bird of paradise shape from here. So even if you don't have the bind, step the left foot down. On your inhale, start to stand. The leg will come with you. If you don't quite have the bind, you can take right hand to the right knee, left hand to the hip as a modification. Maybe you straighten right leg once you get there. And then start to bend back into the knee. Release the bind if you have it. Take the right finger, right piece fingers around the right big toe. And then on your inhale, lift the left arm to the sky as you straighten the right leg forward. Stand up really tall here. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more inhale. On your exhale, pistol squat. Start to bend into your left knee, reaching left arm forward, right leg long. Option to lose that bind if you need to use the hands to help you come down. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, start to land onto the hips. Reach the right leg forward and then take the left piece fingers around the left big toe. Lift into your bound boat. Reach the crown of the head to the sky. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. One more inhale. On the exhale, start to lower, flex the toes. Come all the way down to your low boat, and then drop down through the arms, lift the legs up, and then all the way over the head for your plow pose. Toes tap behind you, feet are flexed like you're in a plank. If the feet can't quite meet the ground, take the knees to the forehead instead. Breathing here for a moment. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Then slow and controlled, we're gonna come out the same way we came in, lowering down onto the hips. Reaching the arms forward, coming up through your boat pose, keeping the fingers along this time. And then start to bend into the left knee, reach the right fingers to the right big toe, come through your pistol squat, pressing into the left foot. And then option to use the hands to help come up. We're gonna lift all the way back up to your standing balance. Breathe in. On the breath out, release the foot. Reach the fingers to the sky. And then hinge all the way down, standing splits. Drop the head, shake it out. Take a deep breath in. Breath out to fold a little bit deeper over the left leg. Options here are to find the stretch or take some handstand hops, totally up to you. We have about three breaths here. Beautiful. And if you are in a handstand, option to spear dive. If you are in the standing splits and you wanna try it, plant the hands underneath the shoulders, protract through the shoulders, so press into the hands. 
Take a little bend into the knee, keep the right leg super straight, and then hop the left toes to the back for a one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out, let it go. Let's take two more breaths before we switch sides since that was a long flow. Breathing in and breathing out. On your inhale, sweep the left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, curl the knee to the nose. Can you get it to touch? Inhale, sweep high, three-legged. Exhale, step, low lunge. Right knee lands, toes untuck. Sweep the arms up to the sky. Square the hips to the top of the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Can you sink lower into the legs? Feel that stretch. One more breath in, breath out. Take a deep breath in to prepare. Exhale to cactus the arms, squeeze shoulder blades together, press the heart forward, and then find an interlace behind the back. Inhale to puff the heart forward. Exhale, continue to lean back, opening through the heart and the shoulders. Reach fingers towards the right calf. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Next inhale, start to come up. Tuck the right toes, lifting through the right knee. And exhale, humble crescent. Left shoulder to left thigh. Arms reach overhead. Right leg is long. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Can you sink lower in the left knee? Next, inhale, find that halfway lift, torso above the left thigh, and then launch into warrior three. Keep the arms, squeeze shoulder blades together, reach the crown of the head forward. Breathing in and breathing out. Next, inhale, come up to stand, keep the arms, pull the right knee into the chest, and then once you arrive, reach the fingers to the sky. Take a deep breath in, breath out. Figure four, cross the right leg over left. Sit low into the left knee, keep the chest broad. Breathe in and breathe out. One more full cycle of breath here, enjoying this hip stretch. All right, on next inhale, left hand to the outside of the right foot, option to hold the knee, dancing Shiva. Kick right foot forward as you spin the gaze towards the back of the mat. Square the hips, notice if the right hip pops up a lot, can you draw it back down? Flex through the right toes, breathing in and breathing out. One more inhale and exhale. Next inhale, come back through center for a moment and then exhale, twisted half moon. Right hand down, left arm to the sky. Kick the right leg long as you rotate the chest open. Breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale. On the exhale, we're traveling to side plank. So start by planting through the right hand, tucking right toes, and then roll to the outside edge of the foot to lift the left knee up towards the left arm. Find a rainbow shape with the right side of the body. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale to float the left leg if you haven't already. On your exhale, slow and controlled, wild thing. Drop the left toes, reach the left fingers, press the heart to the sky. Breathing in and breathing out. One more inhale and exhale. Inhale, start to transition back through your side plank. Exhale to step, left foot at the top of the mat, skandasana. Bend into the left knee, hands travel to the heart center. Flex the right toes, sit the hips low, keep the chest broad. And then skandasana to the back, bending into the right knee. To the front, bending into the left last time. To the back, bending into the right knee, and then horizons lunge. Pivot on the right foot, plant the left hand, reach the right arm up. 
around and drop the hips reaching towards the left foot. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more inhale and exhale. Take a breath in to prepare. On the breath out, start to bend into the left knee and take right leg on top for your Gomu Kasana. Let's sweep the fingers up to the sky and then lean over towards the left. Right arm reaches over the head. Take a deep breath in, spiral the heart up. Breath out. Can you lean a little bit deeper, keeping the right hip grounded the whole time? All right, from here we're transitioning to that fold. So right hand will land next to the left, start to spiral the chest, and then straighten through the legs and fold. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Again, option to stay here, or if you would like another headstand, maybe go traditional this time, interlacing the fingers, grounding through the elbows, lower the head, and then as you're ready, lifting the legs up to the sky. Challenging yourself to come out slow and controlled when you're ready. Inhale to find a halfway lift and then exhale, right hand to left ankle this time, left arm lifts to the sky. Take a deep breath in, reach the crown of the head forward. Breath out, can you rotate even more? Again, inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, we're gonna come all the way up, high crescent twisted reverse. So pivot on the left toes, pop the right heel, reach left hand to right thigh as you reach the right arm by the ear. Maybe gaze up to the right fingers. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Roll the right heel down, reach the fingers long. Take a deep breath in, breath out. Can you sink lower into the left knee? Next, inhale, reverse, reach left arm back. Exhale, side angle, left arm to the thigh, right arm by the ear. Open the chest, reach the fingers long. Option to stay here or right hand to left hip crease. Maybe full bind as long as you can keep the chest open. You can stay right here or look forward, stepping right foot in for your bound half moon, transferring the weight into your left toes and then lift the right leg. We'll all meet at the top of the mat. So if you're still in a side angle, step the right foot down and then rise with left knee either holding onto the knee or with the bind for your bird of paradise. Maybe kicking left leg long, standing up super tall. And then releasing the bind. Take left fingers onto left big toe and then kick your left leg forward, reach your right arm to the sky. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more inhale. On your exhale, slow and controlled pistol squat. Bend into the right knee, lower the hips, reaching right arm forward, pressing into the right foot. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more inhale. Exhale to land onto the hips. Lean back, start to reach right toes up, catching them with the fingers. Crown of the head lifts to the sky. Straighten through the legs as much as you can. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then gently release, flex the left toes, arms come down by the sides as you lower to your low boat, keeping the legs hovering. If you can, drop the arms and then lift. Legs back up all the way over to your plow. Right toes tuck under once you arrive or knees bend onto the forehead. Breathing in and breathing out. Mm. 
and one more inhale and exhale. Coming out the same way we came in, slow and controlled, lowering down onto the hips. Once they arrive, start to reach the fingers forward, lift to your boat, and then bend into the right knee. Capture the left big toe with the fingers and lift back to your pistol squat, push into the right foot, reaching the right finger forward, take a big breath in, use the breath out, come all the way back up to stand, right arm reaches to the sky, take a deep breath in, breath out, release the left foot and slow and controlled, making your way to your standing splits. Drop the head once you arrive, right hand comes to the back of the ankle or shin, calf, Finding a deeper stretch or taking your handstand hops, if that's calling your name. Breathing wherever you are. And then when you are ready, option is spear dive if you are in a handstand now. If you would like to try it, push into the hands, protract through the shoulders, take a slight bend into the right knee while keeping the left leg super strong and active, and then hop right toes as you bend the elbows for your one-legged chaturanga, lifting to your up dog, and then to your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Next inhale, lift the heels, gaze forward. On your exhale, hop to a malasana, so feet wider than the hips, heels in, toes out. Hands travel to the heart center once you arrive, sit up tall. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Two more breaths here. You could find twists. You could take the hands to the ground if you need more support. Breathing wherever you are. And then as you're ready, you could use the hands as help. We're gonna come down to a seat and keep the feet where they are, maybe step them forward. Windshield wiper the legs side to side. So one leg internal rotation, one leg external rotation. Next time the knees are over to the right, keep them there and then find a twist towards the back of the mat. Lower down onto the forearms, breathing into the back body, the hips. And then walking yourself back up onto your hands and we'll switch. Drop the knees over to the left. Continue to turn towards the back of the mat, keeping the hips square, but rotating from the chest. And then lower down onto the forearms if that feels okay. Of course, option to stay up on the hands, maybe even prep yourself up with a block. The goal of this shape is to twist from the upper body, releasing any tension in the back. When you're ready, press yourself back up and then turn towards the top of the mat. Step the feet down, reach the fingers forward and slow and controlled, come all the way down onto the back. Arms come down by the sides, feet step in, spread the toes wide and then on your inhale, lift to a bridge. You can interlace the fingers underneath as long as that feels okay on your shoulders. And then when you're ready, release that. Come all the way down one vertebra at a time. Draw the knees into the chest, gently being mindful of the lumbar spine. Make small circles. And then switch the direction of those circles. And find a happy baby, knees wide, soles of the feet to the sky. Draw the shoulders down as you flex the toes and maybe find a rock side to side. You could close the eyes here knowing that we are winding down in practice, signaling to the body that it is almost time to rest, restore. And 
and gently draw the knees back into the chest one final time maybe give yourself a little squeeze rounding the forehead up to the knees and release to your shavasana shape whatever that looks like for you either supta bada, feet together knees wide or legs long in a more traditional shavasana shape let the toes face out finding slight external rotation in the hips open the arms as wide out as you can take up space eyes close down if they aren't already and breath returns to its natural rhythm checking in to see if there is any resistance to staying in your shavasana today knowing that it's a lot easier to skip this part of class especially at home So if you are having resistance, if something is pulling you off your mat right now, I invite you to stay, to breathe intentionally for a few more moments and see what is on the other side of this relaxation for you. Knowing that if the mind is racing, the thoughts are taking over, your breath is always there to come back to as a way to ground into the present to be here now. Simply by following the in-breath and following the out-breath. Take a slow, deep breath in. And a slow, deep breath out. Maybe wiggling fingers and toes. Making the movements bigger, rolling out ankles and wrists. Eventually a full body stretch, if that feels good in your body before rolling over to one side or pressing yourself up to a seat. Closing the eyes back down for a moment. Once you arrive, sit up tall, collect the hands of the heart center, 
And as always, finishing class with a moment in stillness to call in to find that feeling of gratitude for showing up to do something for you today. Let's take a final breath to seal practice. Inhale, holding at the top for a moment. And exhale, let it go. As you're ready, blink the eyes open. Great work. I hope you loved this class. Had some fun as always. Please let me know down below if you did, what your thoughts are, what types of classes you would like to see more of here on my channel. And if you don't already know, I have an app called The Glow Method where I have lots and lots of classes. I do a monthly live Zoom class and there are a bunch of different challenges over there that are all targeted to a specific goal and there's a seven day free trial for new members. So if you'd like to check it out, the link is down below. I would absolutely love to have you and thank you so much for being here on YouTube as well. It helps to support me so much and I appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you in my next video. Bye.